Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be checking out this ProtoArc Mech K300 mechanical keyboard. It's feature packed, it's made for gamers, professionals, and it has a lot of customization settings. So first and foremost, the design. This is gonna be a full-size keyboard with 104 keys. You can tell by the design that it is gonna have a slim low profile layout, which is gonna look really nice if you're going for that sleek look. It's made up of plastic and aluminum and plastic is on the back and front of the keyboard and the siding is made of aluminum and it's cold to the touch. And if we flip to the back, you can see that there are gonna be adjustable legs for a more ergonomic typing experience, as well as a slot for the USB dongle. Now the keys themselves are gonna have rounded corners and some of them are concaved while others kind of pop out like the space bar and the shift keys. And under the keycaps, you can see that there are gonna be red mechanical key switches. Currently, this is the only option available and the red key switches have a more linear typing experience. The reds are gonna be quiet enough for you to work in an environment without distracting anyone around you. And here's a typing test for you guys to see how quiet and how this thing actually sounds like. So overall, I'm a fan of the typing experience. This thing has practically no key wobble and it feels like every key is firmly placed on the keyboard. Now, in terms of connectivity, this keyboard is gonna be able to connect wirelessly with two methods. It's gonna be the USB dongle that's included or via Bluetooth. And then you can also use it in wired mode, which comes with a USB-C to USB-C A cable. And that cable is gonna be braided and it also feels high quality, just like the keyboard. So in terms of actual unique keyboard features, this thing has a few things going for it. Firstly, it has the lighting. This thing has 14 adjustable profiles built onto the keyboard, and you can use the onboard shortcuts to swap between the profiles without installing any software. And with the software, you can also customize each key shortcut, adjust the polling rates, as well as add macros for your in-game or productivity setup. Now, if you're someone who doesn't want to install the software, that's totally fine. As I mentioned earlier, this keyboard does have a lot of onboard shortcuts and customization settings just out of the box. And here on the screen, you can see all of the shortcuts that you may want to know with this keyboard. Some of them include how to connect the Bluetooth to the keyboard, adjust the lighting settings, and as well as the media controls. Something to note with the compatibility of this keyboard is that it is gonna be compatible with both Windows and Mac, and you can simply switch between the typing modes by holding function, then pressing O or P, depending on if you want Windows mode or Mac mode. However, the software currently is only available on Windows, so if you really wanna get into depth with a customization, you can't really do that on Mac at the moment. Because this keyboard is brand new, they don't have the Mac software, but I'm sure that's on their to-do list and they'll eventually roll that out for Mac users. So pros and cons with this keyboard. The biggest pros I would definitely say is the build quality and the construction. It just feels very nice and well put together. So if you want something that doesn't feel cheap, the keys feel firm, no wobbliness, and the typing experience Experience just feels really good, this is gonna be a great option for you. The only downside with this keyboard is, as I mentioned, that if you're a Mac user, you can't install that software to get the full customization settings. However, if you're not a Mac user, then this keyboard will be perfectly fine for you. So that being said, if you are interested in learning more about this keyboard, be sure to check out my link down in the description below. And if you wanna stay in the loop on what's happening in the tech world, be sure to click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.